Welcome speed enthusiasts. Have you ever wondered which Lamborghinis have the need for the fastest speed? Today we're diving into the world of raging bulls to count down the eight fastest Lamborghinis ever to grace the asphalt. Hold on to your seatbelts, it's going to be a roaring ride, let's go. First up is the dark knight of the Lamborghini family, the Murcielago LP670 Super Veloci, or as I like to call it, the Batmobile's Italian cousin. Introduced in 2001, this beast succeeded the Diablo and was the first V12 Lamborghini entirely developed under Audi's watchful eye. The 6.5-liter V12 engine roared its way to 632 horsepower after a 2005 facelift, making you feel like Batman chasing down Joker through Gotham City. But wait, the real treat came in 2009 when the LP670 Super Veloci version emerged. Now this one came equipped with a staggering 670 metric horsepower or 661 horsepower if you're not into the metric system. Its aerodynamics are so fierce they could almost give Batman's cape a run for its money. And speaking of running, this bat out of hell is capable of reaching a top speed of 213 miles per hour, hitting 0 to 60 in a scant 3 seconds. It's not just fast, it's I gotta save Gotham right now fast. Just when you thought Lamborghini had maxed out there, hold my espresso and watch this meter enter the Lamborghini Revuelto. Not to be confused with a delicious Mexican dish, the Revuelto is the latest flagship of the Lamborghini lineup. It features a pimped out version of the familiar 6.5 liter, naturally aspirated V12 engine from the Aventador. But here's where it gets spicier than a bowl of habanero salsa. This bad boy is a plug-in hybrid. Yeah, you heard me right. It packs three electric motors to boost its output to an eye-watering 1,001 horsepower. Just imagine hitting 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.4 seconds. Even the Flash would be jealous. With a top speed of 217 miles per hour, it's like the Revuelto is forever locked in beast mode. Welcome to the future, folks, where even Lamborghini hybrids are outrageously, ridiculously, and gloriously fast. Next on our speedometer shattering list is the Lamborghini Aventador LP700. 4. The cornerstone, the OG, the bedrock upon which many a Lambo dream is built. The Aventador has been with us for a decade now, and it's still the gift that keeps on giving. Its 6.5-liter V12 engine is the first all-new V12 from Lamborghini since the 1964 350 GT, making it a breakthrough legend in its own right. Pumping out a solid 690 horsepower and 509 pound-feet of torque, it's got enough juice to power your daydreams of tearing up the Italian countryside or, you know, your local freeway. Now, here's the kicker. In 2012, this machine broke the three-second barrier from zero to 60 miles per hour, doing it in just 2.9 seconds. That's not just fast, that's oh my god I left my stomach at the start line fast. As we look to an electrified future for Lamborghini, the Aventador serves as a poignant reminder of what a pure petrol-powered Lambo can do. Hold on, we're not done with the Aventadors yet. Allow me to introduce the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster, the evolution that Darwin wishes he could have written about. This isn't just another Aventador, it's an Aventador on a healthy diet of steroids and aerodynamics thanks to Lamborghini's Aerodynamica Lamborghini Ativa. Picture this. Flaps, vortex generators, spoilers, all working in harmony to give this beast 40% more downforce than its predecessor. Under the hood, it's got a 6.5-liter V12 that churns out 759 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque. What does all this science and horsepower get you? A 62 miles per hour sprint in just 2.8 seconds and a top speed that also sits at a jaw-dropping 217 miles per hour. So, if you've ever wanted to know what it's like to pilot a fighter jet on four wheels, here's your chance. Ah, the Centenario, the car designed to commemorate the 100th birthday of Ferruccio Lamborghini himself. If you're thinking they pulled out all the stops for this one, you'd be absolutely correct. This is not just another Aventador with a fancy name. It's the technological marvel that unveiled Lamborghini's 10.1-inch portrait infotainment system and rear-wheel steering. Now talking about its exterior, carbon fiber panels grace this beauty and you can opt to leave them exposed or painted. And let's not forget its rear diffuser, which is one of the largest ever fitted to any road car. Under the hood, we find yet another variation of the 6.5-liter V12, squeezing out 756 horsepower and 509 pound-feet of torque. 
0 to 60 miles per hour. It does it in the same 2.8 seconds as the SVJ, but it feels different. How? It just does. It's like comparing the thrill of skydiving to the thrill of base jumping. Similar but oh so different. Now let's shift gears into the hybrid era with Lamborghini's first ever hybrid supercar, the Cien FKP37. Why FKP37, you ask? To honor the late Ferdinand Karl Peach and his birth year, 1937, this is not just a step towards the future, it's a giant leap. And speaking of numbers, only 63 will ever be made, making it rarer than a humble Lamborghini owner. Its 6.5 liter V12 is already quite potent, doling out 774 horsepower. But when you add the electric motor, the total system output rockets to 804 horsepower. The added electric juice also means it can zip from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 2.8 seconds, just slightly edging out its relatives. The top speed? Also 217 miles per hour, but it's the way it gets there that makes all the difference. This is no mere Lamborghini, it's a preview of what's to come. So if you're interested in time travel, the CN might be your best bet until they invent an actual time machine, the Countach. Just saying its name takes you back to the posters on countless bedroom walls, a symbol of the excess of the 1980s and Lamborghini's bold foray into the world of design. But wait, this isn't a history lesson. We're talking about the latest homage to the classic, the Lamborghini Countach LPI. Debuted in 2022, it's a modern nod to the past, stirring the emotions of the older fans while captivating the younger generation. Some have called it a lazy exercise in retro-futurism, but those 112 people who bought all the available models might disagree. And why? Well, the tweaked 6.5-liter V12 accompanied by an electric motor catapults this beast from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a neck-breaking 2.8 seconds, topping out at 221 miles per hour. Is it nostalgia mixed with modern engineering? You bet. And now, the Veneno often hailed as one of the greatest Lamborghinis ever produced. When you first lay eyes on it, it's like staring into the very soul of vehicular perfection. This machine is more than just its stunning aggressive aesthetics. Equipped with the tried and true 6.5 liter V12 from the Aventador, it boasts 750 horsepower. And if you're wondering about its speed, this beast clocks a blistering 2.8 seconds zero to 60 miles per hour time. But it's the Veneno's 221 miles per hour top speed that cements its place at the pinnacle of Lamborghini's achievements. Produced between 2013 to 2014 with only 13 ever made, owning one is akin to having a piece of automotive royalty. And if you ever see one on the road, consider it a sighting of the rarest unicorn. All hail the Veneno. And there you have it, folks. The eight fastest Lamborghinis ever to grace our roads and dreams. From modern marvels to iconic legends, these speed demons showcase what the raging bull is all about. Thanks for taking this high-octane journey with me. Until next time, keep your engines revving.